Here we are, we're at day three. We're almost done. So today we're gonna plan out the campaign. I'm gonna have the guys brainstorm. I don't know how this is gonna go, how it's gonna look, but we're gonna shape this on today because tomorrow we got a photo shoot to do. So here we go. All right, so we are back. Day three. So um, everyone was not here yesterday. Um, so for those who weren't here yesterday, how can we catch them up on what they may have missed? Yesterday we talked about prep and we had a very in-depth conversation about prep, how to discuss prep in the community, what prep is about, what does it do, who's it for, how to acquire it, all that. So who wants to take a stab at explaining to those who weren't here what we talked about yesterday? I'll go first. So basically what we did was we did um, five, the five main questions of prep and basically like if, you were, if, if someone didn't know about prep, what would be the five things that they were asked? So we came up with, uh, with the group, we came up with five questions. And we also did, we also was working on a prep campaign. And we talked about the study versus the campaign and what a study was and what a campaign is. And the homework was to go home and to brainstorm some ideas for a campaign. And like far as targeting the LGBT, the, I'm sorry, targeting uh, MSM, young MSM. So that's basically what the job was to do, to go home and brainstorm some campaign ideas. And what a campaign is, is, is basically where you, uh, basically, a campaign is something like this. He gave us this as an example. Basically, like this. And today, our job was to do the uh, marketing side, like basically come up with some creative ideas to basically target young gay men who have sex with men who are HIV negative, HIV negative, and are at high risk for HIV. Anyone want to add to that? Well, we definitely touched on that, but at the same time, was what we really took away from it is that it's not just a gay issue, it affects everyone, especially making them um, aware of their health and how important it is to first get tested and secondly, you know, do their research because oftentimes with certain campaigns, people don't know the necessary facts about what's behind the campaign and how who is targeted in the campaign. So we broke down the demographics, um, being that it's, you know, both straight, gay, male, female, you know, getting rid of all the color lines, which is very important. So basically trying to build a campaign all, based off of all those facts and statistics. Okay, anybody else? That was it? So we're all clear on the difference between the campaign and trial and all that kind of stuff? Good. I think, also think you guys did a good job yesterday of just selling prep. Um, we did some scenarios and some skits, um, some little impromptu discussions. Oh, you missed it. It was actually really good. You know, um, that talked about how to approach someone if they ask you what prep is all about. You know, how do we really get that message across to somebody? So that's day one is down, day two is down. Now we're at day three. So what are we doing today? Y'all ready? Marketing and Let's build. That's Let's so build. Let's build. Let's build. So we're now at the part where we're going to actually create the campaign. We're really going to create the language. Okay, we're going to create the language. What do we really want this ad to say? And we're also going to create the visual. How do we want this ad to look? What kind of people do we want to pose as models for this initiative? Okay? All right. So here we go. Oh, that was on market there. <laughs> oh, my God. Just flustered. Mm. Still flustered. Mm. All right. So this is what we're going to do. Catchphrases, all right? Give me some catchphrases. So give me a catchphrase that, that you see or hear on a regular that reminds you of something. What, what, kind of, what company do you know has a, has a catchy catchphrase that every time you hear it, you know it's about that company? I'm loving it. I was just going to say that. I'm loving it. Everybody knows me. Let's you know we're Americans. I'm loving it. You got another one? The ultimate driving machine. Yes, BMW. Do it your way. <laughs> Just do it. Yeah, that's my thing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you can have it your way? All right, so those are four catchphrases. We know McDonald's, BMW, Nike, Burger King, right? 
Okay, anybody got any others they want to just throw out there just because? Basically, when you hear the ba-da-ba-ba-ba, you know that's who. McDonald's, I'm loving it. So usually when you see that, let's just say you're not even thinking about McDonald's, you know, or, or if you go to a strange country or a different city, you know the one thing you can count on is McDonald's. And it's going to taste the same no matter where you go, okay? So for the most part, okay, we got production in the back saying no, 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 no. okay? For the most part. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Just do it. That's Nike. That's Nike. We we all know that a tennis shoe is not a tennis shoe unless it's a Nike. For some people, they will only wear a Nike. Okay. So let's talk about prep. Let's talk about prep. Think of some catchphrases. What would be a catchphrase that you could associate with prep? Look around the the wall. We did some stuff. We had some things. You know. So, drum roll, prep, boom. What is it? Pre-exposure profile. No, no. <laughs> you went too deep. Like, McDonald's, I'm loving it. BMW, ultimate driving machine. Nike, just do it. Prep. Stay prepared. Or stay prepared. Or something you, like that. you see that now. But we stay prepped. Yeah, prep exactly. You need step. something new. Yeah. You know, put a prep in your step. <laughs> 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 you know, make you feel good just in case you have a little slip up. You're okay still. You ain't got to worry about too much. That's actually cute. Put a prep in your step. Mm -hmm. Any others? I told you I'm the most marketable one. Any others? <laughs> <laughs> like mother, like daughter. <laughs> Any others? I don't know if you'll be able to distinguish it, but are you prepared tonight? That's done. I've seen that one. I've seen that. Prepared is the catchphrase for everybody that's prep. Yeah, so we've seen that one. Prep up your day. Prep up your day? Or prep up your night? But then it seems like it's only a once a time thing. Yeah. Like, like, it's Ooh, like, it's like kind of prep thing. by day, prep by night. Put that one up there. That's not right, just because, because OK. okay. I'm corny, so I'm coming up with something. <laughs> Does it have to use the word prep? No, oh, not if it makes uh, sense. Uh, I'm like, we got a <laughs> Just throw it out there. If y'all throw it out there, it's brainstorming. Throw, throw words out there. What word reminds you of prep? When you think about prep, where does your mind go? Sex. Sex. Thank you. What else? What else? Prep. Safety. 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 Yeah. What else? Prep might. Ready or something. One word. Give me one word. Prep, prep, prep. Sex, safety, awareness. awareness. Who said that? Early. Awareness. <laughs> Sex, safety, awareness. Protection, comfort. Protection, comfort, comfort. Style. Style. Protection. Confidence. Keep going. Enhancement. Enhancement. Going to a condom now, but okay. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Sex, awareness, comfort, safety, style, protection, confidence, enhancement. Live, live. L I V E. Live. Went up with the words. I thought it was interesting because there's a lot of words that came about, but they all dealt with kind of like what we were focusing on. It's, it, it, it's, a, it's a pill for people that are sexually active, so it, it focuses a lot on that. Healthy. Healthy. Respect. Respect. Don't be scared. It's just a word. Ain't no judgment in here. Some of y'all looking like if y'all say the word, they're going to talk about you. Just say it. Responsible. Better safe than late. Better safe than late. That's your catchphrase? Yeah. Okay, we'll, try, we'll throw it up here. Is it condom? More like a birth control. Something condom. <laughs> 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 you know. Better safe than late. So we got sex awareness, comfort, um, live, safety, style, protection, healthy, respect, confidence, enhancement. Mindful. What? Mindful. Mindful. What if the catchphrase were just words and at the end it was like a solid? Protect. You know, like say, sexy, comfortable, safe, enhanced, 
and then at the end, just put protected. You know what I'm saying? Like commas between? Yeah. Dot, 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 protected. All right, so have something, all these words, but then it's protected. All right, okay. Okay, thoughts? Coming up with the words today was um, complicated because I think PrEP has a lot of negative stigma behind it and a lot of um, not so positive words. So I think coming up with like responsible and being protected was definitely a challenge, but I think overall it was, we had a good outcome. Don't, don't y'all give me dead look. That makes, that makes sense. Sense. Okay, huh? They're great words. They're great words, okay. Catchphrases, you, you guys said put a prep in your step. Prep by day, prep by night. Better safe than late. You got the words right here that flow into protected. Okay, some other options. Let me erase this to give you some, some more writing, writing room. Coming up with words today was pretty easy to do actually. Um, being in the field, um, just being around, you know, PrEP and Truvada and HIV testing and everything in general. Um, just knowing that background knowledge, it was kind of easy for me to speak on, you know, what we were doing today. What kind of image would you want to see? Like two, two men, like couples. And one probably could, I'm not sure how you would do it, but one could be negative, one could be positive. Well, there could be two men on there, maybe a mother, maybe, you know, a, a heterosexual couple, because we don't want to put it too much in the game. So two men, so we just Gordon. He said yesterday we were working on just for the game, right? One thing at a time. Okay. Didn't we say that yesterday? You can put two hands with the pill in it, and they're both coming together like this. Okay. Two hands holding a pill. One black, one brown. Let's just make sure we're talking that they can tell it's prep. Yeah. Two hands holding yeah. Truvada. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> what about doing a mock picture that's like the housewives photo when they're holding the yeah. peach? Yeah. That's what I mean. You know, okay, so let me get let me get five of y'all up here. You jumped up at that, didn't you? Photo eye. I said five. That's three. Go hot Yes, Peter. <laughs> when it comes to getting this campaign out there, we definitely have to be mindful of the audience in which we're targeting, um, which is very important because when you do a, a campaign for anything, you want to make sure that everybody is well represented. So I think today what we got across was that we wanted people from every walk of life. Okay, now give me, give me, give me, give me your face. Give me face. Give me. Yes. <laughs> All right, so if we had, so if we had the, okay, so this is a pill, 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 pill. Okay, so let's get the aesthetics of that. So that, that's how we can be looking. All right, and you're holding the prep. So then, okay, so we have all those words. We got all those words. So should those words be floating above your heads? That'd be good. And then just floating away, like, like, like those are your thoughts or whatever, above your head. And then like underneath, we got protected or something. Or maybe put protected at the top and everybody has a different word and we're standing on that black like, word. Like a, like a, like a I, step stool? Like a step stool. Like that was that. Or they have shirts on that have like yeah, hashtag. I like, don't know what those are. words on it. I'm aware, you know, and then a lot of t-shirts. I mean, they have that. those different words on there, like yeah. hashtag. So, okay, so you're so you're standing on a... You're so almost like the, like what is that? Stool. The grain diagram or whatever, they break down different like grains and stuff, like weed. Oh, uh-huh. And yeah, the main one was protected, and each one of us is standing on one of those like layers, holding the pill. Okay, what do you think about that? Yeah. Thoughts, 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 yeah, yeah. thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. What are they gonna be standing on? They're gonna stand on grain. What a piece of grass. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, the full pyramid. Okay. And we're standing on one of those pyramids, and at the top you have the word protected. Oh, oh. So all of you together are standing on the pyramid, or each has their own individual pyramid. Each has their own individual. Ain't that a lot of? But is. 
I know. I'm, just, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to look at it, but isn't the wording the words going to be very tiny? Because we're talking about just a poster or a little a little card or something. Uh, the words would be really really small. I mean, if we did that, the word yeah, would start to be small because it's five of y'all, uh -huh. and that means it'll be um, five triangles underneath you with words in the triangles, and it, it'll be it'll be it'll be very busy. There is a lot of work. There's a lot of brainstorming. There's a lot of agreeing to disagree, but it's all for a great cause. Why don't just like the close up of just like your hands be like right like a tattoo. Yeah, yeah. You like a tattoo. Yeah. No, that's. And see, and see, this is the beauty. This is the beauty of this. You wanna, wanna, wanna know why this is so beautiful? Because you all look different. How about if I have an idea? Okay. You all look different. Everybody, everybody kind of like wants to take whatever. Really Y'all can put your hand down. Y'all can put your hand down. Nobody really wants to talk about it. How about if we had like something across? Like you know how No Hate has that campaign something across the Oh. Now? How they, you know, that word right there. That'd be high. Okay. Starting in on the bottom, protected. Time to talk. I like. Oh, it does. Or you did that. Or what you did that. What? Oh, yeah. oh my Don't. God. Don't. Right. <laughs> One thing that I know is that working in the field of HIV, you can become accustomed to the thought that everybody knows what's going on. What I want these young men to really realize is that everyone is not as invested in the fight as we are. Some people don't know. They have no idea about PrEP. They can really care less. So I want them to create a campaign that's gonna get that person that really would walk by and not even do a double take. But if we get something that's really creative, we're gonna start the conversation in the community. Because what we're seeing is that HIV is still not talked about on the level that it should be. So today is the day that we are creative overly creative about how we're going to address this and the campaign we're going to come up with is something that everyone's going to know about. Watch.